We can see that uh, some of the street painters are at um, all different levels of uh, basically where they are on their piece. Um, some people started yesterday and have a little bit of jump of ahead of the other people, but some people actually had to work yesterday. The competition started at 3 p.m., but um, people that had to work maybe started early this morning, and there may be one or two people that even show up tomorrow that weren't able to get here today. Um, the artists do have two and a half days to put into it, and they can put as much time as they really um, you know, want to or need to into it. Um, it. It is a competition. The best pieces are going to win, and there's a lot to pick from here. Um, but some people really come out and, you know, they're interested in the competition, but they're also interested in doing this just for the love of street painting and uh, probably the experience and just um, having interaction with the viewers. Tomorrow is going to be a really, really busy day here. Um, lots of people come out to the plaza and walk around. And uh, it's really nice to have the interaction with the public and the street painters. And they get feedback on their drawings and a lot of compliments, which is really nice. The people in front of us right here, are, these two street painters are doing a Diego Rivera piece, and it's it's a fairly famous piece. I think a lot of people will recognize it. So they have done most of the calla lilies that are at the top of the street painting, and um, they're working from the top down, and then they have the main woman figure to do, and uh, the bottom of the piece. So they're making pretty good time, and I think their piece looks really nice. We've got another street painter here. His name is Aldo Ortez Reyes, and he is doing a Bougereau piece. Um, he's got, uh, it looks like he did a, a grid in the background. Um, he's got a, a large grid in the background. He didn't do a very tight grid. Um, that's really up to the artist to you know, determine uh, how much detail they really need to put in um, before they do their line sketch and put all the colors in. So he actually has, uh, at least half of the, the main figure done, he probably started on her face first, which is usually the hardest. And you know, if you start on a first, it'll give you longer time to put the most detail in. And he's also got some color at the top uh, finished on his piece. And um, he, now he's moved down and working on the figure a little bit more. You can see that he has his reference material that he's looking at, and that shows him where uh, basically what colors to use, where to put any kind of highlights, um, where to put any kind of shadows. He's got all his chalks out in front of him with uh, the shades that he wants to use for this time. Um, he does have a glove laying on his chalks and maybe he was using that for a while, but maybe he is preferring to use just his hands right now. Um, generally, your hands on the surface, uh, a lot of people really like using that, um, but the surface, if it's a little rough, it can rip up your fingers a little bit, so some people will put gloves on for a while. You can see he's uh, working on the arm right now, and uh, he's using some blue in the skin tone, which a lot of people think, oh, maybe, you know, there's really no blue in the skin tone, but a lot of times skin does have blue and green um, highlights in it, and once you see it finished in the overall piece, it completely makes sense. We've got another street painter here who's um, working on her piece. Um, she has her reference material right in front of her, and uh, it's a picture of a girl with a, a beautiful um, wrap scarf around her head. So she started on the face, worked on some of that, and now she's at the top of the piece working on the, the head wrap. She's got some of the background of the piece done, and um, it looks like she's working on the hair area too, and then she'll move down. Um, she is working with gloves, and uh, she's got her chalks out in front of her as well. I think her piece looks really nice. Uh, the eyes are um, very detailed and very, very pretty. Here we have um, a street painter named Maria Del Carmen Vejo Villapando, and sorry if I didn't do a good job with your name there. Um, she's working on a Diego Rivera piece, and this is a very bright, colorful piece. As Diego Rivera, a lot of his pieces are very bright and colorful. And uh, it's got quite a few figures in it, um, a lot of fabric for the women's dresses, and uh, some foliage and plants in the background. 
Um, she's got, uh, she really has a lot to do in this piece and she's doing a really good job with it. There's so many different colors going on here. So many um, different things happening in the painting with shadows and highlights and shading. Um, it's gonna be very, very bright and colorful and a really pretty piece.